Hi everyone, I'm Jeff Dunmire from Casio and I'm here at Full Compass and uh, I'm here to show you the, the new Privia line made by Casio, uh, which there are five models now. Uh, we have the PX150, we have the PX350, which you see in front of you. There's also three cabinet models called the PX750, the PX850, and uh, being released right now even as we speak is the PX780. Uh, they all share one thing in common and or actually a couple of things in common but one big thing is the new AIR sound source technology and basically the AIR sound source technology utilizes three times the sampling memory especially for the pianos than what we had in our other units you know the previous units like the PX130 and the 330. Uh, in addition to that you also have something now called damper resonance which allows you to hear string resonance when you're playing and also even even down to the detail of, of hearing the damper lift off the strings when you press the damper pedal. One other feature is a hammer response time, which is which simulates the the attack uh, uh, the attack of the hammer against the strings, depending on where you are on the keyboard or your key range velocity. Uh, in addition to that, we've also redesigned the tri sensor hammer scale so that so that your your action feels a lot more like an acoustic piano and in addition to that we we actually simulated the ivory and ebony on on piano keys this has a lot more more texture than than any of our previous models and and again this is prevalent throughout the the Privia line uh, th this particular unit that I'm speaking about right now with regard to the the PX350 this has 250 different programs on it 180 rhythms and in addition to that, it has a 17-track sequencer. Also, um, uh, a, a big deal with this is it has a, a way to audio record your playing directly to a thumb drive. Uh, and as far as the sounds are concerned, I'm going to play a few for you. You've got pianos, which you've heard. And it's not just one piano. You've got, uh, or it's not just piano one, piano two. There's some marked differences between the tones. Here's the grand. And you can go all the way up to um, a bright grand. You've got even got some layered sounds in here with uh, with regard to uh, uh, strings and piano. In addition to that, you've got electric pianos. Again, several of those strings. As I said before, this also has, has some arrangements built into it with the rhythms. And the, great, the other great thing about this particular keyboard is you have 96 different registrations. It'll save your splits, your layers. For instance, if you wanted to, to do a, a, a split, you could just hit the split button and you've got a piano on top with strings right now and then you have a bass on the bottom. Also, if you just want to do a layer, let's say a harpsichord with, um, uh, let's, let's put the harpsichord with the, with the strings. Uh, anyway, harpsichord with the strings. So all you have to do in order to layer a sound on top of another is just hold down the button that you want to you have, let's say, in the string section. Now I've got stereo strings with a harpsichord. Now, in addition to that, though, I can save that, that uh, harpsichord string split or, or layer I can have tempos and, and um, along with whatever rhythm I want to use and whether or not I'm using a, a, a full range across the keyboard. And I can save that as, as a registration. So if I just go to the registration bank here and pick uh, uh, bank number 20 and registration number 1, I have a, a, a piece in here that's um, it's Eternal Child by, by um, Chick Corea. Anyway, so Eternal Child by Chick Corea, I can just hit this and it will start.
what you're hearing is you're hearing the arrangement. Uh, uh, the arrangement is, is uh, the arrangement mode is, is very intuitive. And you can start as a beginner with one finger chords down here, or you, can, or you can have it scan the whole keyboard, just like a regular keyboard player would play. And all of a sudden, you've got a band backing you up that follows you. You've got a bass player, you've got you know, whatever, guitar player, strings, anything in the background that you want. <clears throat> in addition to this, though, you can also hit the audio rec record button. And all you have to do is hit it twice to load it, where it's blinking. And I can do that same thing that I just played, and it'll record it to audio. <laughs> Let's hear what we have. There we go. Now, after you're done with that, you can simply take your audio, your thumb drive out of the USB port and run it into your computer and save it onto a CD. In addition to that, on the back, you also notice there's a USB and there's also MIDI, MIDI plugs in the back. Uh, the USB is great for, uh, since all our stuff is USB MIDI compliant, uh, if we plug it into an iPad or a computer of some sort, it's just plug and play. There's no, nothing to download. Again, wonderful instrument uh, and all of, them, all of them share a lot of these, these, um, these features. The audio recording function is on the, the PX350, the PX850, and the new PX780. Anything more you'd like to know about the new PX series, you can go to fullcompass.com or contact your Full Compass sales representative.